this main cannon solo starts at the 19th fret of the B string. That's played over the D chord. Then we play the 17th fret on B. That's over the A chord. And we do a slide back, so it's like that. And we slide up to the 15th fret on B. Then we do a full bend and release to the 14th fret. And then play the 14th fret on G. So it's like this. So now we have. Then we go to the 12th fret on D. We play this twice. Pretty quick. And then after that, we slide to 16 on G. Then we play 16 again. 16, 14, 12, then 14, then 15 on B. So now we have. And then slide up to the 11th fret on G. So that's. Now we're going to slide up to 16 again on G. Then we're going to go 16, 14, 12. And then bend at the 14th fret on B, just a half bend. And then back down. So in total now we have... Now we're going to go to the 15th fret on B, hammer on to 17, and then 14 on E. Then we're going to do a bend here, and then play 17 on B. Then 15 on B. Then a 17-15 pull-off on B. And then 14 on B, and then 14 on E and 17 on E. So that part is... And after that, we now go to the 19th fret on the E string. And this is all on the E string. We're going to go... Which is... 19, 17, 15, 19, then 17, 15, 14, 17, then 19, 17, 15, 19, and then a 19th fret bend, full bend. I use my other fingers to help, I don't just use one finger to bend that, you need at least two fingers to bend that. And now we're on to the next part, which starts at the 7th fret on G here. Another slide up. 7, 6, 7. Then we reach up to the 9th fret on the A. And then play the 7th fret on D. And then we're going to play 9 on D. 6 on G, and here I do some open strings with the uh, fretted notes, so I go 7, then open G, 6 open G, 7 open G, then 7th fret of B, with an open B, and then a 10th fret bend on the B string, like so. So that part is... Then we go to the 8th fret on the B string, and then we do a hammer on pull off from the 7th fret to the 8th fret. So, then 9 on G, then back to 8 on B.
Then we're gonna go, which is seven on B, nine seven on G, nine seven on D. And then we're gonna go nine seven nine on D, then seven on G, then six on G, and then we're gonna go seven on the D and then A strings, and then five four on A, five on E. So that part. Now for the next part, we're starting again at the seventh fret on G. We're seven six seven, same pattern. Ninth fret on A. Seventh fret on D. And now we're gonna do a ninth fret on D, sixth fret on G, and then we have a little pattern here. It goes like this. So what we do is that's basically a B minor arpeggio. So we have. So 7th fret of G, B, and E, 10th fret on E, and then we slide up to the 14th fret, do a pull off to the 10th fret. Then the 12th fret on B, 11th fret on G. And then after that, we do a 10th fret bend on the B string. And again, we go to the 8th fret. We just did that already, right? Now we're going to go 7, 10 on B, then 10, 14 on E. Then up to the 15th fret on E, we're going to go 15, 14, 12, 15, 14, 12 on B, and 14, 12 on G. And then after that, 14, 12 on B, then 14, 12, 11 on G, and 14 on D, 12 on A. So that's like this. And after that, the chords stop for a second and we play an A major arpeggio. So to do that, I start at the 9th fret on the A string and I hammer onto the 12th fret. Play the 11th fret with a ring here on the D. 9th fret of G with the index. 10th fret of B with the middle. 9th fret of E with the index. And then we do a pull off, 12 9. Then back up the pattern, 10th fret of B, 9th fret of G, 11th fret of D, 12th fret of A. And after that we jump up to the 21st fret here, I want to play another A major arpeggio just in this position. 21st fret pulls off to the 17th fret. And you want to have the index finger flat also on the 17th fret of the B string here. And then the middle finger hits that uh, 18th fret on the G. And then we play 19 on D and A. 17 on the E string. That's our A note there. That's that little ending arpeggio. And that's the first part of the Canon main solo.